The November smackdown between Marvel Studios' Thor Ragnarok and Warner Brothers' DC film Justice League is a fierce fight for comic supremacy that extends way past the box office. Ragnarok is just the latest in a string of hits for Marvel Studios, as Warner Brothers desperately looks to continue the momentum from its first big success this summer's Wonder Woman, which has grossed $821 million worldwide so far. While Ragnarok opened with positive notices and $122.7 million in the US, Justice League is battling negative reviews, a poor Rotten Tomato score, and is tracking for a $110 million debut, way behind the massive $166 million Batman vs Superman grossed in March 2016. If a B character from Marvel shuts down and outperforms the A team from DC, that's an embarrassment, a Justice League insider tells The Hollywood Reporter, adding, it's going to be a stressful weekend for some Warner's execs. Justice League underwent extensive reshoots as Zack Snyder exited following a family tragedy and Joss Whedon stepped in to oversee the reshoots, which cost millions. Meanwhile, on November 7th, DC Comics lured superstar Brian Michael Bendis away from Marvel, where he had spent the past 17 years penning bestsellers, including Ultimate Spider-Man and The Avengers, which helped inspire multiple films and TV shows. Bendis signed a multifaceted deal that sources say could give him input on Warner Brothers' growing stable of DC films. While Marvel put on a professional face calling Bendis a great partner and appreciating his creativity and professionalism, several sources tell THR that staffers were taken by surprise at the poaching move. Friendly rivalry has been in the company's DNA since the 1960s, but things went from friendly to ugly in the 2000s, culminating with a now legendary 2002 interview in which then Marvel editor-in-chief Joe Quesada mocked DC for not having more success on the big screen, despite owning characters as popular as Batman and Superman. That infamous interview marked a turning point for the relationship, and the rise of social media has only stoked the flames with DC and Marvel fans fiercely defending their respective companies in the face of negative news. Even James Gunn, director of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, recently took to Twitter and urged fans to make peace with one another, writing, So why do you spend so much time raging at each other? It's silly. Please just stop it. Stop engaging in that way. I've never seen fans get so worked up. It's a weird subculture of fans that is making things worse, says F.J. DeSanto, a writer-producer of Transformers Prime Trilogy. Chris Begley, founder of fan site Batman News, notes that traffic surges around controversial issues such as rumors of Ben Affleck leaving his role as Batman. Readers swarm to condemn his site for even posting news suggesting such a thing. Some hardcore DC fans only want to read good news, he says. For DC, the stakes with Justice League could go beyond box office dollars and bragging rights. For a lot of people who are following DC's cinematic universe, Justice League is the last chance for them to get it right, says Reed Tucker, whose book Slugfest chronicles the heated rivalry between the two comic companies. If it's as reviled as Batman vs Superman, I think some of the fans are going to check out. To read more on the ongoing rivalry between Marvel and DC, head to THR.com and tell us, are you a DC fan or are you Team Marvel? Or do you just wish that we could all get along? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And of course, you guys, don't forget, subscribe right here to THR News so you never miss an important story. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.